Hello everyone in this video, let us use the Jira's REST API to get the work log and at the same time also to add a work log. So today I wanted to show you how we can use the Jira's REST API to get and add a work log. Now I'm looking at this uh, reference documentation where uh, the endpoint is uh, REST API 3 issue followed by the issue key or the ID and then you have to uh, specify work log. So using the get method you can uh, fetch the work logs of the issue that you will pass here in the uh, URL and I will use a talent API. So the, so the issue that I will be using today is uh, bt-1 uh, bug one that is the uh, title and if I look at the work log tab I do have a lot of work log entries and when you look at the work log entries you have few things you have the user who did this work log so basically this user spent two hours on this date first of July in this case uh, and there could be a comment now uh, we have to fetch the same thing using the rest API so if I go to my talent API browser I have uh, the same URL REST API 3 issue followed by BT1 which is my issue key and then uh, the last part is work log. Now if I click on the send button it will uh, give me this list, nice list of uh, all the work log entries and if you take a look at uh, these entries you have things like uh, the author so of course we need to know who did this work log entry. Uh, it is also possible to update the work log entry. So maybe if you uh, did something wrong, you can always update it. And uh, the person who did this updation, it could be maybe your manager, uh, the name, the account ID will be mentioned here. Now, there could be a comment that you can add. For example, in this particular work log entry, the first comment the first log comment is uh, work really hard and uh, then of course you have uh, several, several other comments. So these comments are also added in the work log if you, uh, I mean you can also also fetch them if you want. You can uh, take a look at uh, uh, the comment here. So uh, this, this is quite useful and uh, you can of course uh, go through all the entries in your, uh, in your work log uh, JSON response. So this is all good, but <clears throat> I also want to show you that uh, using the REST API, you can also add a work log. Now, to add a new work log, you need to use, of course, post method, and the endpoint is same. Uh, you have to use REST API 3 issue followed by the issue ID or issue key, and then the work log. So I already have uh, one uh, method or rather I should say one example here using the using the post method. So you have to of course pass the uh, JSON file, the body with some time spent. So you can simply use something like this time spent one hour and it could be one day I, I believe how uh, you can try. So this is the most simple, simplest thing that you can do when you want to add a work log entry or maybe I want to add something like maybe 30 minutes. Let us try if this works. So if I click on the send button, uh, it will hopefully give us some response that you know this work log entry was added and uh, who is the author who is, uh, uh, I mean b b basically you want to know uh, whether this was added or not. So it was added because we can see this uh, JSON response uh, like time spent 30. It will also give you the date information created, updated, started. You can also, I mean, this particular JSON file is very simple. It will probably take the current time and it will uh, consider, consider that time as the created time or the started time, but you can also change it. Now, if I go back to my issue and if I refresh it, let us see if we have the entry here. So I can uh, see here that we have a new entry called um, time spent 30 minutes. I can also add a comment. So right now the comment is blank. 
But if I take a look at the example uh, where we have some information about, you know, different examples basically. So I can copy this uh, comment part here. And as you can see here that you can also pass the started date just to have more precise control on uh, when you did this work log entry. So you can do that. So I'll, I'll simply comment, I'll simply, simply add a comment here. Of course, you need to make sure that the format is correct. So this is, this is all good. I'll probably change uh, the text here. This is a, this is a sample comment added using Jira's REST API. So this looks all good, I believe. And if I click on the send button, oh, let us do a different time this time, 15 minutes. And if I click on send, and uh, if I take a look at the response, so the response is correct. And uh, I can also go to my Jira instance. Uh, do we have anything, any information about the comment? So let us take a look at the comment. So I believe the comment was also added. So this looks quite good to me. I'll just verify it to make sure it was indeed added to the uh, issue. So you can see here that this comment was added. Now, uh, this particular endpoint is quite useful in my opinion because uh, you can log your time, you can do time tracking uh, using REST API, which is great. Uh, maybe you want to do it from a different tool. Maybe you are syncing your Jira with another tool. So with the help of the um, endpoint to add a work log or maybe to get a work log, you can do a lot of wonderful things. Maybe you have your legacy system where you do your billing or maybe you keep track of your uh, um, budget. So you can always uh, use the REST, REST API for uh, pulling and pushing the time in the work log uh, to your Jira issues. So uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.